Hey, hey, system coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Arsenal career mode. That back took a little bit of time. Now, I have a big deal for you guys, okay? I know already that some people are getting triggered by the fact that this one is shorter than this one. If you hit that like button right now, I will change it on three, okay? One, two, and there we go, right? Uh, still, people with OCDs, you are welcome. <laughs> And if you guys could smash over 3,000 for this episode, that would be much appreciated. We have been over 2,000 all the time, but now I want to go back up to 3,000. And for that, I have to come up with a great episode today. Loads of snaps have been sent by the assistant coaches while I'm getting messages. Um, and they have been quite interesting. Let's take a look at Arsenal Fan TV before we get into the next matches. Currently Arsenal in the fifth position, looking good, up against Swansea in third. So that will be an interesting game to play. What a game with the Real Sociedad, we're talking about teams, what the player for the future will be. Uh, Liverpool underestimated you, where with Salah, Van Dijk, uh, Firmino, they just had a bad lineup and started with Lovren and Klavan, so you had to smash them. Can we play you? Can we play you? Can we play you every week? Oh, Liverpool, can we play you every week? What else does uh, Lautaro and Martinez need to do to get him 11? Like, come on, Chani Sports. It seems like we got a couple of fans for Lautaro Martinez, who has been the hero of the last episode. His shots, man, especially that one long shot, was just surprising. And currently, after 11 games, he has 10 goals, 2 assists, a contribution to uh, every single game so far, and most of those as a super sub for us. So, for now, he seems to be the perfect super sub for our team. And I want to keep it that way for a little bit until he grows even more. Because I think if we smash him into the starting 11 already, I don't think he will be doing that well. I think his stamina and all of those stats are not good enough to go over full 90 minutes. Lacazette and Aubameyang are too experienced to put them onto the bench. Oh my god, Aubameyang on 17 assists. What are you doing? Well, Jenny, I must say an impressive uh, performance there against Sociedad in the Euro League, Getting the job done, which is good to see. And the destruction of... Liverpool, well, that was impressive. Uh, but there is something that we do need to cover, and that is still the defensive efforts of this Arsenal team. There's two players that you've completely overlooked at this stage, and that is Holding and Chambers. Uh, young lads with uh, a lot of class about them. They probably just need a little bit of extra training. A little bit of extra training will help them grow, and um, they could be the missing link in the cog that you were looking for that is the Arsenal defence. Uh, but once again, I must applaud your efforts. You've done well, manager. You've listened to the fans and uh, well done. Let's hope that you can keep it up. Hey, our biggest critic is actually praising my managerial decisions. That means I've made it. I've definitely made it, boys. Yeah, I think uh, Chambers and Holding are definitely players that we should be training up a little bit more because they are not too far off the 80 rating. Um, it could be quite fast for them to get to the 80 rating. But um, there are so many suggestions now coming in for the centre-back position that I kind of like don't know what to do. So let's just check out a couple of the suggestions from these guys. Yo, Johnny, I think you should sign Austin Essig from Besiktas because his contract is running out and apparently he wants to go back to England where he used to play before. And guess what? He used to play for us for like three or four years, but he never really got a chance to prove himself in the first team. So I I'm sure that you are the man who can give him the chance and I'm sure that he wants to prove everyone that he's Premier League quality. But anyway, take care, man. See you. First of all, I'd like to say, Chani, you're my favorite YouTuber. You're the best ever. And for the sandbag position for Arsenal, I think you should buy Eric Bailly from Manchester United. Because as a as an Arsenal fan, I think you should buy Eric Bailly. Arsenal needs to start making big investments. Try to get the league title done, you know what I'm saying? So I think Eric Bailly would be the right choice. So first of all, we had Osan Özyakup, who is currently playing at Besiktas. And this guy has been quite a talented player in the previous FIFA and maybe in this one as well. I don't know how he's doing right now, but genuinely he has been playing for uh, Arsenal in the past and 
he was quite a good player at Besiktas for the pa past like couple of years. For the centre midfield position, he's a very well-rounded player. Kind of similar to Mikitarian though, in his statistics in my opinion. So, maybe bringing him into the team wouldn't be the right thing to do. Now, the other suggestion that we had was coming in as Bayi. Now, here's the deal. Normally, I wouldn't want to bring in Eric Bailly into my team. Because why? Because it's an unrealistic transfer. Let's be honest. How would that be happening? Arsenal getting someone off of Manchester United? No, it's always the other way around. But I was then sitting there and thinking like, Arsenal fans hate Manchester United for the fact that they are buying all of their big players in the past. Van Persie left. Alexis Sanchez left. And... I think it would be nice for the Arsenal fans to kind of see their team finally picking away one of the strongest players for Manchester United's lineup. And it, it could be Eric Bailly. It could be the perfect thing for us to do. He could be replacing Koscielny in our team. He's at the same rating right now. And I do believe he is going to be uh, going up in his statistics in the future. Now, let me know if you guys think it would be a good idea to finally make Arsenal steal a Manchester United player. Let me know in the top right corner and in the comments down below. So fun TV here, just want to say, um, great win over Sociedad, easy 4-2 win. Made it look harder than it actually was. Then we come against Everton, 2-0. Like, now, as much as we're decent enough to get like a 2-0 draw with a second string team out there, why are we playing a second string team against Everton yet? Like in the Car Carabao Cup, we play our full string team. Like, are you actually mad? Like, it was clear. Like, it's the Carabao Cup. No one cares about it. It's a shit competition. The only cup competition in England that has relevance these days is the FA Cup. Carabao Cup's useless, man. Like, if Arsenal won in real life, no one would care. It's a fact. But, like, then again, Chani, Martinez needs to start more often. Like, honestly, take Lacazette or Aubameyang out of the team. Because then if you do that, then you have a great striker to come off the bench. Simples. Now this man right here, he might be right, you know. In the last episode, as you guys have seen, we have played against Everton with the reserves team because only two days after that, we had a Liverpool coming up. And as you can tell, we smashed Liverpool. If I knew that Liverpool would play such a starting lineup that they played against us, I would have used my reserves team for the Liverpool match and used my first team for Everton because Everton had a better starting lineup than Liverpool. And um, I was thinking, do you guys care about the Carabao? Cup because I kind of like prioritize it at the moment when I'm like up against a big team in the Carabao Cup I will play my first team because I want to get that trophy I know at the end of the day it might not be worth that much to the fans but at the end of the season I want to be there and say I got at least one trophy and that is the Carabao Cup I know it's not the best but still it's something that we can start working with so that was my decision behind that whole thing but I do understand why you're upset for the fact that we have only drawn against Everton. Now though, it's finally time to play against Swansea City. They have been up there throughout the whole season in the top four and their team looks good, you know? Their team does look good. Their defense seems quite strong, um, certainly stronger than ours. Uh, we have conceded nine. They have only conceded seven. Um, they do have a better... Do they have a better goal difference? No, they don't. No, they don't. Because we scored many, many more goals than they did. But that just tells me that their defense will be tough to crack open. And Manchester United in the first place, we need to get right behind them with a victory against Swansea City. A loss. Who? That would be unacceptable. I would get destroyed. So let's not do that. You can see that he's like <laughs> trying to fall asleep. I think you guys can see him in the camera as well. Can you see his eyes like shutting down? <laughs> oh man, he's so sweet when he's tired. I love it. This could potentially be one of the biggest matchups of the season because Swansea currently are doing so well. I'm really looking forward to see their starting lineup. I'm so interested because... I don't know why they are so good this season. The same goes for Leicester City. Our first team is ready, as you can tell. And Lautaro Martinez is waiting to be subbed into this game later on. I mean, if I'm looking at this team, I am not really that scared. There are a couple overpowered players in there like Sanchez, Fer, uh, Ayu and Narsing. 
but their defense i don't know how they managed to like concede such a low amount of goals this will be an interesting match and by the way i am putting their goalkeeper ability up to 65 i want to see if that actually has a big impact onto my game if it doesn't if it's like balancing a couple of the goals that i'm scoring I'm happy to change that because 6-2 against Liverpool, let's be honest, we need to make it even tougher on ourselves. These sliders are just insane. That's a great pass into Swanberg. That's a bit too easy. Wow, he's just running through there. Wow, what the hell? How did he just run through like that? That was surprising. Apparently, Swansea do have a couple of beasts in dribbling. But there goes Aubameyang. Lacassette with the pass early in the match. Aubameyang. Yes. Come on. He scores another goal. And those are the types of goals that you expect from a striker like Aubameyang. He has the pace to get in behind the defense and run through and score. And that's what he did right there. In the eighth minute already, Swansea is down 1-0. Their defense is all over the place. I don't know what they were doing. Too far up the pitch. And Aubameyang punishes them straight away. That is his fourth goal in the Premier League. Lautaro still has more than him. Plays it back. Renato Sanchez. Olson. Leroy Fer. Oh, wow. That's an impressive pass there. Come on. Ramsey, you can't be tackling him like that, mate. Yeah, that's a joke, man. We just gave, gave away a penalty straight after we scored. Aaron Ramsey with a captain band. You can't tackle like that. You can't just put both of your feet into his knees. That. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oblak has saved penalties before. Can he save yet another one? Bottom left corner. It's bottom right. Jordan, are you bringing Swansea back into the game? It's 1-1. Ah, this team is back into it. In front of the Arsenal fans at the Emirates, man, I cannot get a draw. I, anything other than a victory will be something that will be very much criticized. So I cannot allow that to happen. We are now only 10 minutes into the game. Two goals. Swanbeck, good pass. Cover that run. Oh, no, not like that. Oblak, good save. Swansea coming in with some really good passing play. Oblak not happy with his defense there. Near post. Alba will be getting onto that. And that is not felt. Aubameyang is good with his jumping. So I can use that to my advantage. This time though I'm aiming for Sergei Milinkovic Savic. That had to be a goal. That's a bad header. I'm trying to take them down. I'm trying to... Oh my god. Ayu is incredible. What is going on with him? He's on fire man. I can't get the ball off of him. Ramsey though now into Lacazette. Lacazette. Play through into Alba. Aubameyang now. Come on. You can score another one. This time with your weak foot maybe. Aubameyang, it's a great save. Mikitarian jumps up for it. Oh, Lacazette. Lacazette. Oh, wow. That was a great turn against the defender. Lacazette. Ah, that's not good enough. Milinkovic. I'm out of position with a lot of my defenders. No, 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 no. Is he shooting or is he passing? He's passing. Thank God he passed the ball. Oh, my God. What? How am I? Who was that? Who was that? That was Mustafi, wasn't it? How does he not get that ball? How does the def how does Ayu get that one there? Explain that to me. Ah, oh, Mustafi, you're right next to him. Put your feet up, man. What is that? That's ridiculous. That is such a bad goal to concede. Jordan Ayu, let me be honest, has been ripping my defense apart. But still, the fact that he could score such an easy goal... That's just not good enough. We are down against Swansea at home. The time has come for our savior to come into the game. Lautaro Martinez and Guerrero will be coming in. And I will also sub in um, Will Share for Ramsey, who has given away the penalty. So here we go. We got still 25 minutes to go. We can make this happen. That's Will Share. I need to bring this one into the middle. There is Guerrero. Guerrero. On his left foot, he's deadly. Guerrero. Guerrero. Man. I need this equalizer. I really need it. Oh, that's mine. Big mistake. Lautaro Martinez. Lautaro. You're my hero. You are our hero. How did you miss? That's just ridiculous, man. I'm missing so many chances. Passing it. Mikitarian. That's Wilshire. Wilshire on the run. Wilshire's through. Wilshire. Jack Wilshire. He gets pushed off. Oh, it's a pen. It's a pen. Let's go. Okay. 
Who is taking the responsibility right now? Who is going to take this one? Oh boy, I don't know who should take this penalty. Our Mayang, are you the best? Are you the best? 76 on penalties? That's my best. Oh my god. We suck. Come on, Oba. Come on, Oba. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, it somehow went in. Oh my god. Okay, let's pick up the ball. We're back into the game, boys. We still have 10 minutes to go. We can do something here. With Lautaro Martinez and Guerrero joining. To oh my god, that's the luckiest penalty I've ever scored. Oh, that was, that was close. One last attack. Here we go. Guerrero, Aubameyang. Lautaro Martinez, Guerrero, Guerrero's through, shoot! Oh no, they held on to him. Mate, it's a 2-2 draw against Swansea. What a match this has been. It was definitely one of the best teams we have played against this season. Even though I did not expect their defense to be that good, it was a really tough one. I tried my best. Aubameyang scored two goals, but at the end, it just wasn't enough. Lautaro Martinez, his one-on-one -on -one chance, man. That could cost us right there. I think it did. <laughs> it did cost us already. Gotta tell you, man, that performance right there, it just... I don't know if that was the best I could do. Someone got a training injury. Who is that? Training injury for... Rob Holding. He's gone for four months. Wow. We are now missing out on a centre-back in our reserves team who are just about to play against freaking Altach. Do I even have a replacement right there? I have Chambers, don't I? Yeah, I do have Chambers. Where are you, my man? Chambers, Chambers, Chambers. Hello, where are you? Chambers, Chambers. What? Where is Chambers? Oh, I let him go. Oh, I let him go on loan. Um, I think I might have to call him back right now because we are lacking a center back. We definitely are. Um, Callum Chambers, I'm happy that you had your fun over there at Aston Villa. You got plus one in a rating, but I gotta bring you back, my man. It will cost me a lot of money, but I have no choice. I have to bring this guy back right now. Callum Chambers, back into the squad, boys. And he will be joining into the reserves team straight away. Because a four-month injury for holding is just not good for us. It can hurt us a lot. And he's actually 77 rated now. We just saw that he was 76 rated. Didn't we? Am I hallucinating? I think he was 76 rated a second ago. Now he's 77 rated. I I'm not complaining. I'll take it. All right, now this game against Altach, I'm just going to simulate it because we are kind of through in the Europa League group stage and I'm not expecting a loss or anything against this team. Even though it's a reserves team with a lot of low rated players, we should somehow get at least a draw out of this one. Yeah, it's a victory. Maitland, Niles, and Wilshere are scoring. Good to see these boys do well. In the 89th minute, we conceded though. No clean sheet for the boys. Now, we will be back into the uh, Premier League right now. And we are up against Manchester City. Now, Manchester United are still three points ahead of us. Swansea, one point. And uh, the same goes for Leicester City. Three points right there. Manchester City have been struggling this season. It could be a tough matchup, but I genuinely don't know what kind of team they have currently. So I'm looking forward to it. But the fact that we have lost out on a holding like that still is kind of pissing me off. But uh, we'll be using the first team. Hopefully they will be fit for this one. I am hoping that this one will not turn out to be just like the match against Swansea City. If Manchester City though do use their best players, this could be one of our worst matchups. So yeah, let's hope for the best. Let's hope they're playing a lineup just like Liverpool. Okay, I can already tell that De Bruyne is playing. Who else? Um, boys, Manchester City is playing with a really, really good looking starting lineup. Um, Leroy Sané is not playing, but they still have Gabriel Jesus on the bench. How is this team not in the top 10? Why am I coming up against a team like this? who are outside of the top 10. That's a joke. They should be in the top five for sure. Now this is this is definitely going to be a tougher matchup than the one against Swansea. I'm telling you that because their passing play will be on point and mine needs to be so as well. So let's try our best here with, like I said, starting off with a shot. Close one. Bellerin, Savic, Ramsey, Alba, Ozil, right footed. Okay. Ramsey. Ozil, Lacazette, Aubameyang getting yet another assist. Ah, oh, that is a great save from Ederson. Into Ramsey, Alba, Lacazette, great turn against company. Lacazette over the crossbar, too much power, too much power. And Mkhitaryan gets a yellow as well. Two yellow cards for our team already. Milinkovic, good turns. 
Here we go. Aubameyang could be getting himself another assist if Ozil can shoot. He can, but Ederson a bit too strong right now. Alba, that's yours. Come on, Alba. Someone get onto it. Milinkovic. Shots over shots over shots. No goals. The first half was filled of attacks from Arsenal, but no results at all. I tried my best. Some of the shots over the crossbar. Some of the shots were saved by Ederson quite nicely. I feel like in the late minutes, there will be goals in this game. Hopefully though, it'll be for our team. Kevin De Bruyne plays it short. Raheem Sterling with his dribbling, trying to get past us. It's not happening here. Ramsey into Lacazette, and this could be a big attack. Two against one. Aubameyang is now through. Come on, Lacazette, help me out. Aubameyang for his 18th assist of the season. Lacazette starts off this attack, and we do score. Come on, Arsenal, man. This is such a huge match for us. If we could actually keep a clean sheet and get this victory, we will definitely stay in the top four. But most importantly, someone above us will drop points. I'm sure about that. And we will be taking over their squad. Manchester City still struggling to get into top 10. And with this team, it shouldn't even be a question for them. They should be in a top four. This is definitely the strongest team that we have played against so far. But like I said... There was no chance for the keeper or anyone to stop that. Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, Mustafi. I knew he had a yellow card, but I still had to risk it there. Because if uh, Sterling runs through like that, it will turn into a very dangerous attack. Aguero. They have De Bruyne right there waiting for the ball. De Bruyne gets it. Leighton Baines. Aguero. Baines. Aguero. De Bruyne. Bellerin, what are you doing, Bellerin? No, David Silva turned me there. Oh, Oblak, thank you. Oblak, big save, big save. Bernardo Silva, though, could shoot right here. Or Yaya Torre. Whew. Okay, City getting very dangerous. Oh, company. That's a good cross. Koscielny. Come on, get that ball away. What are you guys doing? Carl Walker passing it over to Yaya Torre again. It is mine, though. Natal Martinez. Aubameyang. Guerrero. Guerrero, Rafael Guerrero, Rafael Guerrero, Fines. Oh no, it wasn't good enough. Sterling, Kolasinac, how do you feel? How do you fall like that? Uh oh, there's too much space. Aguero. Oh, oh, thank God, Bellerin. Great tackle there to prevent Yaya Torre from scoring. Let's put everyone in there. Their goalkeeper is out. Our goalkeeper hopefully is out as well. Everyone dropping on the floor. What happened? Oh, it's a foul for us. Whew, we got lucky. We got very lucky, boys. This might be the end of this match. I don't know yet, but I'm hoping it is. It is the end. We have beaten Manchester City. It was an incredibly tough match. But Arsenal, after getting two unnecessary draws so far against Everton and Swansea City, now back to winning ways. I like to see that. Otamendi was playing striker at the end. He could have maybe scored a header or something. But at the end, man, the goal that we scored with Lacazette, that was the one. And Aubameyang now on 18 assists this season. You can tell City had way more possession. But man, I'm happy with the performance. This was a performance that I needed to see. A defensive performance at the end of the day. Because people have been talking about the defensive work that this team has been doing. It wasn't good enough. I, I understand. But in this match... They pulled it off. So here is the league table after this episode's games. Manchester United up in first with 28 points. They are now six points ahead of us. They came out of nowhere. Honestly, they did. And we need to catch up. Arsenal currently in the third position with 22 points. We have one game less. Yes, if we do win, we go up to 25 and we will be in the second position. But... We need to be more consistent against these smaller sides. Obviously, Swansea was a really good team, but against Everton, we should have won. Maybe the guy that was suggesting to play the first team against the Premier League sides instead of against the uh, Carabao Cup sides was right. But Manchester City in the 15th position, they've actually lost against Leicester City after playing against us. So they are looking quite bad right now. And hopefully, hopefully we can get closer to Manchester United because their performances have been quite good lately and we have been conceding way too many goals we have 11 goals conceded um one of the worst obviously the worst in the top three but yeah 
I'll try my best. Manchester United's defense seems strong. Maybe Eric Bailly is one that we should take away to weaken their defense, but um, their attack is also doing quite well right now. Our next opponent is Spurs. And that is obviously a big one for Arsenal fans. That one, if I lose that match, if I even draw against Spurs at home, I don't know what will happen. I don't know what will happen. I don't even want to know. I need to get a victory in that match. I've changed the sliders for the goalkeeper and things have gotten a lot tougher, but I'm enjoying it. I'm genuinely enjoying it. It's another big challenge set for ourselves. I don't think we will see games like 5-1, 6-2 ever again, boys, but it will be fights every single match that we play. And I think you guys will enjoy that. So let me know about that Eric Bailly situation. Obviously, we are going for Jose Maria Jimenez. If we can get him on a pre-contract, I think we'll be fine. Um, uh, we, will, we will wait. We'll wait a little bit more. He does have a release clause of 53 million. Someone might take that in the January transfer window. Hopefully, though, still we'll be able to get him into our squad. He would be a huge signing. I think he would be the best one um, considering his age, his uh, rating and his talent. But now, yeah, you guys got to decide. If you want me to go for Bailly, we can check out Bailly and see how it goes. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, you guys will be motivating me for the match against Spurs. Send me your snaps. Leave your comments down below. Love you all. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Have a great day. We'll be back with Arsenal tomorrow. Take care. Peace.